hello guys let's create some new entity type in data model suppose client has given us one new requirement to add a new custom ui bb like custom ui uh, like uh, if it is form or list ui or anything so if we wants to add first of all we have to add entity so we have to add entity of type 4 from data model so first of all let's see from ui level and understand what is the requirement so click on new organization any cr and okay so let's see here we are we want to add one more ui baby under customer details with one uh, new attribute inside that so one that means one entity inside that one attribute that means here that we can add one field here inside one ui baby so let's start that go to bp data model and entity type here let's go and add new entity so new entities let's give entity name as z custom and then i'm just giving type for change request so changeable via uh, uh, other entity type save go to attributes and new entities and any any name here so data element let's give care 40 click on save it's okay we have to add other thing also so just give description as router now go to relationships let's add new relationship bp header so from bp header we have to do leading relationship and relationship name is bp to zcust and two entity type let's give z custom and in cardinality so this sh this should be one is to one cardinality because it is in main page and it is form uibb we are going to extend so form uibb means we have to do one is to one and data element so data element we don't need to mention explicitly and we don't need to mention anything other than this so click on enter so it will show this warning message ignore this and save this save changes and go back and activate the data model so go back go back and activate the data model so it got generated okay now let's go to go back and click on generate data model specific structures select bp manually we need to add structures so here we have to add new entries z custom pdf based forms z custom and then search application key fields of an entity type z custom 
attributes z custom and for attributes and let's click on save and select all these and click on generate selected structures we can check them so go back go back go back let's go to genil model browser so here we have to create one new enhancement i think this enhancement is not existing so let's click on create enhancement and give any description like custom entity and here we have to select super enhancement and bupa cusp and click on continue so now enhancement this got created successfully let's go inside now we have to go inside dependent objects and click on create dependent object so here let's create z custom object name so i am using just entity name as an object name here as well to avoid confusion and click on continue so here in key structure let's do the key of same bp root so if you check bp root here inside this that will also have the same key structure i am using same key structure for this as well because this is one is to one relationship now attribute structure let's check this zxx star pp star z custom so it might select this one source structure for pp mapping and root object bp root so this is enough and click on save so model got saved successfully this doesn't need any activation or anything but the mo the name which we have created now the z custom we have to add one relationship with z bp root with bp root we have to create one relationship now let's go to root object bp root and go to relations so here right click inside and create a relation so relation name z custom relation r e l let's give this name and click on okay so here assigned object so from source object as bp root to assigned object z custom so card card of the assigned object we have to choose 0 to 1 anything so card of source uh, source object it is 1 assigned object is 0 to 1 this is fine so i am just saving this and we have to use this as a reference and add the same one into one more configuration so go to sm34 and go to vc star mdg star genil star let's see so we have to go to this second one genil underscore c c means customized so we are cu doing customization so we are doing this and click on maintain so this is cross client so in this cluster we have to click on new entries so component name here we have to give genil component name it is bupa functional object name is genil 
main object name bp root and then here object type we have to mention the object name bus 1006 so this is the object type now go inside and again we have to click new entry bupa as component name and here object name we have to enter and entity type is z custom as i remember and then here entity object name z custom means to, uh, this entity is assigned to which one in genil component so this entity is assigned to z custom so here also z custom so entity type also custom and genil also it's custom so let's save this and now we can start working on ui so we have to go to sm50 so in sm50 we have to go to fpm farm uibb gl2 if you are working in farm uibb we have to go into this one and then create component configurations hello so we have to create one new component configuration let's name it as z mdg underscore what is the entity type z custom entity so instead of custom z custom and then form so i am just creating this new configuration id and description custom uibb so just copy this and paste separately so that we will not forget this notepad and paste now click on okay and package local object so now it will ask a feeder class so this feeder class we have to give standard feeder class here itself and try once so this one and click on ok so it will ask component so we have to go to genil and check the component it is bupa component so this is bupa component every time in genil so i am mentioning bupa and object name the one which i have created just now so z z custom is the object name so let's go there so let's select z custom here and click on editable so by default it should be editable so click on okay we can remove unwanted things here so instead of care let's change it to custom router so something like this and save this configuration that's it so if so all all are fine here now just remember this one gmdg cust z custom form now go back 
and go to go to this earliest change one so here if you double click uh, right click here we will get technical help so go to application configuration in application configuration go to bscu overview page here we have to create a customizing so until now it is not there in the system just i am creating now a customizing for this because i don't want to disturb the standard so customizing we have to use as per sap standard so sap recommends not to use uh, not to change component configuration which is provided by them so i am just using customizing any description and okay now we have to add a new ui baby add a freestyle component so here let's add pm form uibb gl2 enter and config id we have to select z star dg underscore custom underscore form so let's add this and click on enter here so window name we have to click on form window this is done let's add title of this and let's move it upwards below custom detail that's what i wanted now i am just saving this and again so I, as i have added one relationship from uh genial component and in data model also we have added one relationship so here also we have to add one relationship which is called this so inside mdg generally we will call as relations like that in ui ui configurations we will call that as wire so let's go to wire schema we have to add a new wire so click on this so concept is wiring will be connect, will be used to transfer data from one uibb to another uibb so attribute of wire so let's go down and fill here as well so this and this one is same so source and target this is source component and this is target component so here fpm form uibb underscore gl2 so this is the component and inside this config id we have to choose
now in config id z we have to it will start with z mdg custom form so i am selecting this and here let's fill source component fpm form uibb gl2 so on source configuration should be bsbp root so on connector class we have to choose connector class should end with rel and within that time let's go and check genil model and here we have to check name of relationship so inside root object inside this we have created one relationship that name is z custom rel so we have to enter same same name inside uibb as well so c custom underscore rel so if we click on f4 help for this class connector class we will get this list so we have to choose bold relation connector for bp so let's see this one bold cl bs bp connector bold rel so here identifier so here port type we have to give ls and port identifier is standard so we can save this so it got saved now we can go to nwbc and check same screen so now we can see it is enabled by default so we can use this and click on the enter button still it it should not get cleared up yeah this is working fine and these buttons should not get enabled because these will cause issues if i click on create button it will create dump so that's why we have to hide that from ui baby so go to this and click on none option save this and it got it got finished now so now if you check this that create option will not come only edit option might be present and another uh, options will be removed from the ui so click on new organization and create planet so we can submit the cr and check now test internal number and name one anything like uh, custom data 
and let's give custom router as test one two three and postal code let's give us and postal code as zero zero one and this postal code after clicking on enter button this structure will change postal code will be changed into zip code by standard now city las vegas something let's give ny now i am clicking on submit so that we have to check this one should not get disappeared at first level so i am clicking on submit and this will get routed to next level so i am refreshing this it, it, it is pending with final check approver now let's go to next level approver or else let's use SWIA T code and then from workflow log we will get workflow ID so four two seven six four five four two seven six four five let's use this and without check so now we have to be able to see the custom field data anyway this is in staging area it should not get cleared up until the CR gets final check processed so hello if we are able to see the custom uh, custom field then we can ensure that it is working fine as expected in staging area so let's see that so data is not getting cleared up even after submitting from requester so this is working fine we don't need to test any other scenario because even after approving it will get vanished for sure because this is only staging level custom uh, cu uh, custom field so this is fine so thank you guys